I can think of at least 13 agents that has been showcased through videos or other ways like easter eggs in the game, and these agents aren't playable in the game yet. There is even a new faction that was announced which was originally a leak, but then the devs decided to announce them after the leak. Some of these agents will be playable very soon, while others might take years before we get to try them out. But let's go through them with the information we have available. Now rest assured, this video will have no leaks since I want to respect the devs and their work. Let's start with the criminal investigation team, since I think most if not all of these characters will be available in the game very soon. Number 1 is Ching Yi. Ching Yi seems to be of the electric type and she will probably release very soon since they already announced her voice actors and some lore about her. You also get to see a lot about her in the story, so it comes as no surprise that she will probably be released in version 1.1, but of course this is not confirmed. Number 2, Seth. Seth is also a part of the criminal investigation team, and he uses a shield and baton as his weapon. He is highly likely to be of the tank role, and he also got some more info recently, meaning his release is probably very soon. Number 3, Jane. Jane just got more info today and she seems to be a cat Fyron. Another interesting fact about Jane is that she seems to go with a lot of names, giving me the impression that she probably does a lot of undercover work for the criminal investigation team. Jane's weapon seems to be a pocket knife which really fits her character as an undercover cop, and I might have to save some pulls for her since I really like her character. Next we have all the section 6 characters. Number 4, Miyabi. Miyabi was a playable agent in one of the closed betas apparently, but unfortunately I didn't get the chance to try her out. She uses a sword as her weapon and she also has a ghost following her. Miyabi was of the ice attribute in the closed beta test 1, so it is highly likely that she will stay this way, but keep in mind they can change it since it was more than a year ago. Number 5, Harumasa. We see Haru Maso quite a lot in some videos and there is even an encounter with him in the game. Haru Maso seems to be using two daggers as his weapons, but it also seems like he can put them together to make a double bladed weapon, which is pretty cool. Number 6, Yanagi. Yanagi, or Nagi for short, got her name indirectly confirmed through a conversation between Haru Maso and Sokaku. They seem to mention her quite a lot, so this makes it highly possible that it is this pink-haired lady's name, and she is the last member in section 6 that we know of. She also seems to have some undercover name or I am just wrong, but there is an NPC you encounter in Lumina Square quite often with the name Orlenda, and they look exactly the same. So we have at least two easter eggs for this agent that I know of. Yanagi seems to be using a spear as a weapon or a very long sword, but regardless I like these kind of long weapons. Next we have the Sons of Kaladin's upcoming agents. Number 7, Lighter. Lighter is the only guy that we know of that is a part of the Sons of Kaladin, and I encountered him once in the game so far. I really like his character, but unfortunately even after watching the video he is in, I have no idea what kind of weapon he will be using, but coming from his name Lighter, I think it is highly possible that he will be of the fire attribute, but this is just my speculation and the devs could always surprise us. Number 8 and 9 are both from the Sons of Kaladin, and we only get to see them in the release video of the game. I have no idea what their names are, but what we do know is their weapons. This lady seems to be of the tank role most likely using a sword and shield, and she seems pretty cool. The other agent seems to have a tank looking thin on her back and some dual wielding weapons. I have no idea if it will shoot fire out of it or something like a flamethrower, but I really like the Sons of Kaladin faction so far. Number 10, 11 and 12 we have an idea what their weapons are, but no idea what their names will be. They are from the Virtual Idols faction that got announced after a leak, and even their faction name isn't final yet. We do have some pictures about them, and the first character seems to be an agent that can change her costume and change into a robot. 
Her weapon seems to be related to her hands, which I'm gonna just guess can shoot some lasers out of it or something. The second agent seems to be dual wielding hammers which is pretty awesome, and I like the idea about her. She also has an electric mark here so she could be electric damage potentially. The third agent has a backpack and a megaphone, which makes sense for an idol group faction and I wonder how exactly this megaphone will be used as her weapon. Number 13 is another easter egg we got from the game. And we have yet to see anything about this agent and if it will even be an agent in the game in the future with very little info. It happens to be a character that works with the Obot Squad faction, which Soldier 11 is a part of. Also, this might be a little spoiler if you haven't done Soldier 11's agent story yet, so be warned. But let's talk about it. In Soldier 11's agent story, you do a commission with Soldier 11 where she gets in trouble and you happen to call out for help from Soldier 11's faction. Then this lady with a sniper rifle shows up and helps Soldier 11, but unfortunately we don't get to see her. All we know is that she works closely with Soldier 11 and she uses a sniper rifle as her weapon. One thing is for sure, Soldier 11 is not alone and we will definitely see more playable agents from her faction in the future. But let me know which agent or faction you are looking forward to the most in Zenless Zone Zero. Peace out.